The war in Vietnam is a combined and joint effort, whatever you are. Soldier, sailor, marine, or airman, American, Korean, Arvin, Australian or New Zealander, you already know this well. A message read to this unit illustrates the challenges faced and met by units of all services. I have a letter addressed to all personnel of this command from the commanding general. During our tour in the Republic of Vietnam, we have all seen what communism can do to a struggling nation in our world community. It is therefore most important that we conduct our affairs with the people of the Republic of Vietnam in a manner that will show the Vietnamese citizen that we are his friends and that we are here to assist him in the improvement as well as the security of his country. It is then with great pride that I note the fine work done by the soldiers of this command during the recent operation. It is with pleasure that I say, a job well done. These men have just emerged from many long days of combat during which they faced and fought the Viet Cong. Drove him from areas which he had heretofore controlled. Opened roads for travel which he had dominated. And thereby contributed substantially to the turning of the tide in Vietnam. Yet it is not for their military accomplishments alone, important though they are, that they are commended by the commander. It is for other activities, more subtle, less easy to grasp and define yet every bit is indispensable to the final decision in the war that has been fought in Vietnam today. A war unique in the long history of armed conflict between men and nations.